Hello everyone, it's Ben at TV Parts today. In front of me on the table, we have a Samsung unit, model QN75QN85AAF. We're gonna be going over some of the things that you can try if your TV is producing sound, but is not displaying an image. The first step that we would take is to do the flashlight test. I'm gonna have a link down below in the description to that video. Uh, so let's say that you have done this flashlight test and you can see a faint image in the screen when you hold the flashlight up to it. This means that most likely that your backlights are not firing correctly. Uh, so if you're gonna jump in and do a board swap to try and rectify that issue, we would suggest starting with the power supply board. We're gonna have a short video here on exactly how to get that board out of your TV. For the power supply board, the first step is gonna be to get these two plugs uh, out and away from the power supply. We're gonna wanna squeeze down on both sides of these little orange tabs here, which then uh, lets the plug come out from the power supply. So I'm gonna get those depressed and it slides right out. Same thing with this guy. Squeeze the two sides, very gently walk it away from the power supply and that comes right out. There is a lock right here. Uh, we are gonna wanna very gently lift up on the board, just enough for it to slide up over that and then the whole board should just slide out. So we do want to be very gentle with this. We don't wanna cause any damage to the board but we wanna very gently lift it up over that lock and give it a little bit of pressure and the whole thing slides out and that is the power supply board. All right, if you've swapped your power supply out and you're still not getting anywhere, the next part that we would suggest is the LED driver. We're gonna have another short video here to highlight exactly how to get that out of your unit as well. This is the LED driver board, uh, and the first step that we're gonna to wanna to do is get all of these connections around the outside away from the board. And we'll start that process by getting this tape lifted up, we do want to be careful that we're not causing any damage to the ribbon cable connections while we do this. And we can set this off to the side because we will want to get that back on there when we're putting this back together. Get this other piece of tape. Now we'll move on to these ribbon cable connections. We want to get our fingernail up underneath this flap and pop them up. Go ahead and do this guy too, same style. And then we can get these ribbon cable connections out of there. We do want to use a little bit of finesse. Be a little gentle with those that we don't cause any damage. And they should just slide right out of there. I have to give them a little wiggle. After the ribbon cables are out, we're going to go after this plug. What we're going to do with this guy is squeeze down on the two clips on the right and left side, slowly walk it out of there. And you will see it kind of came out at an angle here. We can just pop it right back in, try one more time. And it comes right out and away. So there is no screws keeping this into the chassis. What we want to do is lift up very gently on the corner of the board and slide the whole board out and it comes right away. And that's the LED driver. All right, if you've done the flashlight test and you are not seeing an image on the television when you hold that flashlight up to the screen, we would suggest trying to swap out the main board. Uh, we're gonna have a short video here on how to get the main board out of your unit. So the first step for the main board here, we're gonna wanna get all of these plugs and clips away. Uh, so first we're gonna get our fingernail up underneath this guy, pop it up. We should just be able to walk that right out of there. Uh, this one's going to have two little pieces on the side that we want to pinch and then we just want to slowly walk that away from the board you do see it kind of came out here at an angle let's pop it back in try one more time this guy is going to be similar to this one here we are going to just pop up the flap with our fingernail and that ribbon cable should just come right out of there do be careful with these we don't want to damage them uh, so this clip right here we're going to want to depress with our thumbnail this should just come right away from the main board. This clip right here is gonna be a similar style to this one. We're gonna to wanna to push down on those clips on the right and left side, and then slowly walk that out away from the main board. Uh, this ribbon cable connection is gonna be similar to these two. We just wanna pop it up with our fingernail, and then we wanna walk that out of there. So these screwless Samsung models uh, aren't gonna have any uh, screws actually in the main board itself. Uh, there is a small nubbin right here that we're gonna want to very, very gently bend up 
on the main board to where the main board can pass over that little bump. And we're gonna wanna slide the whole thing out to where all the clips are loose and that is your main board. Another important thing to keep in mind, there can be other issues in the set to give you these symptoms, uh, namely the panel itself. Uh, there could be a problem with the LED strips. Uh, we are gonna have a link down below to a subreddit that you can go to to ask any more questions just about the kind of symptoms that you're having with your television. Uh, that's gonna do it for today's video. Uh, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and we will see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook 